Hello everyone, this is Voltage Development back with another Click Team FNAF tutorial. Now before you say anything, I'm only doing this because I've heard a number of people ask me how to do custom night stuff in FNAF. And I thought, screw it, why the hell not just do, just do this one-off FNAF video tutorial on click team and i will probably never do another click team tutorial ever again i'm also doing this because i think i might have found a way to maybe try and explain it to you guys but if you guys still are confused about it then i totally understand because this this is very um Confusing and without a proper setup, it's gonna be probably even more confusing. But what I have here is uh, the custom night menu. Of course, I don't have the actual photos of Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, and Foxy, but they don't really matter for this tutorial. What does matter is the counters, and the counters mean a lot when it comes to custom night configuration. So underneath these uh, colours I have arrows to tell you right, left, right, left, right, left, you know, left goes down for the counter, right goes up for the counter, so on and so forth. So let me just put them back to where they were. And now obviously uh, new condition we can do um, if the uh, mouse uh, clicks on object so one in left button, then uh, we need to change the bunny counter and uh, no, not add, uh, uh, subtract one from counter. But if we do that, then obviously um, it will go into the minuses. So we have to make sure that we insert a condition to say that we can only click on the left arrow if the counter is greater than zero, right? So, let's try this. So now we can no longer... Well, we can still click on it, but nothing happens. So, uh, let's just do the same for um, uh, Bonnie Wright. So, we need to make sure that this is lower than 10, so that, well, you want to make sure that your characters your animatronics have like a decent level of difficulty right so now we need to add one to counter so let's see how this goes so it just keeps on adding one but when we go to 10 yeah we can't do anything about it so we go back down 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 and there you go so now oh yeah actually i completely forgot we need to actually add a button we're not going to do an active and just actually you know what's good let's just do an active and let's just do, um, what's it? Let's just do it red, because why not? And let's drag it out. And this active is literally just going to be called uh, next level button. That's literally what we're going to call it. Next level button. So, once we click... No, no, don't do that. Once we use the mouse button to click on button... We are going to do next frame because on the next frame we have this lot. And this counter is Bonnie counter, this counter is Bonnie position. So once the counter reaches zero of Bonnie counter, then the Bonnie position will go to like a random number. And whatever that random number is will move the actual Bonnie active overlapping one of these uh, camera button thingies and if you were in the real game then if the Bonnie active blue thingy magic is overlapping a camera then of course Bonnie will be in that camera right so I haven't actually got a counter counting down for the positions yet but I will implement that in this tutorial which will probably make the tutorial even longer than it should be but you know what screw it we're gonna do this anyway because why not so now we need to do the exact same for um 
for the other counters. So what we just did there, uh, what we just did here for Bonnie, we're literally just going to do for the counters of Freddy counter, Chica counter, and so on and so forth. So, BRB. <laughs> Okay, so now we have done with adding them, so let's just see this in power, no, uh, see this in advance. So, Bonnie is working, uh, well, obviously we know Bonnie is working, duh. So, Freddy is working, right? Yep, Freddy is working, Drucker is working. Yep, and Foxy is also working. Yes, okie dokie, coolio. So, yes, I know that um, Foxy's active is F. No, we're not paying respects to Foxy, by the way. We are doing F because I don't know what Foxy's colour is. I mean, I know that Bonnie is blue and Freddy is brown and Chico is yellow, but Foxy, I have no idea what colour he is, so I pay him green and white F. Also, to her paying respects. But anyway, let's go ahead and do. Um, once the user clicks with left button, we are going to make sure that. Um, actually, first of all, let's go to this in the objects that I've put in here. And normally, you would have to go over to, I don't know, um, go over to the inny in the events and say, like, set current file to this and the other. But what we're going to do is. Down here in the any file to use part settings, whatever. We're gonna put the name as I don't know, FNAF Custom Yes, Custom Night. Because you know, we're doing FNAF Custom Night, of course. So now, uh, because we have done the name, all we need to do is when the user clicks on the left button on the red next level button thingy, we are going to do Set value of an item, so the item is going to be Bonnie, and the value of Bonnie is going to correspond with the Bonnie counter that we just made. So the Bonnie current value, the current value of the Bonnie counter, is going to be put into the Bonnie item field inside of the any file. So. Um, we also need to do the exact same for Freddy, Chico, and Foxy. So, let's just do set value item. This one's going to be called Freddy. And then value. It's going to be Freddy counter, current counter, value thing. Do the same for Chica. So, Chica. And then Chica's right there. Yep. Current value done. And now Foxy. Okay, Foxy is right there, good. So now, if we save that, and now, um, if we run it, let's just say, let's put Bonnie to five, let's put Freddy to two, let's put Chica to three, and then Foxy to, I don't know, eight, why the hell not? So now, if we do the button, so remember, Bonnie is five, Freddy is two, Chica is three, Fox is eight. So let's press the button. So of course it comes out of there because we are testing the level, we're testing the frame and not actually the application. Because if we test the actually you know all this stuff. So <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and go to um app data because that's where our file will be located at. So MMF applications. And there we go, FNAF custom dot in it as we have created. And Look, Bonnie 5, Freddy 2, Chica 3, and Foxy 8. So, there you go. It has saved all of our current value and stuff. So now let's go over to frame 2. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to make like a counting down thingamajig. So, we're going to do uh, every, let's say, one second, we're going to get the Chica counter or well because on the first night and second night it's only Bonnie and Chica that's moving we're going to use them as examples even though on custom nights 
Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Freddy both or all move at the same time on custom nights. We're going to use Bonnie and Chica as an example because we know that they move the most. So, ah, Bonnie counter. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. I'm talking a little bit too fast. So if I, if you are struggling to catch up, then I apologize so much. But I'm a little bit full of energy right now because I'm trying to do this tutorial for you guys. <laughs> so. <coughs> Let's just imagine that, um, actually, actually, before we do the every one second whatever, yeah, let's just make a new condition, and let's do start of frame, and then we're going to set the bunny counter to the uh, get value of an item, <coughs> and the, the, the item name is going to be Bonnie, and whatever is, and whatever the value is inside of the Bonnie counter, sorry, whatever the value of the item Bonnie is inside of the any file, this counter is going to retrieve that value. So, if you remember, crap, um, if you remember inside of, uh, ba -ba -ba, here, Bonnie. It's going to retrieve this 5 value, and it's going to set it as this counter in here. So, uh, let's do the same for the chick counter. So, set counter to value item chica. <clears throat> and now, let's see what happens. There might be a slight glitch here. Okay, I think I'm pretty sure I know what happened here. So, uh, <laughs> we have our any file here, but this any file has access to no files at the moment. <laughs> I should have realised this, but you know what? When I'm doing these tutorials, I always mess things up. So bear with me. So, because we are using an any file inside of this frame, yeah, we need to make sure that the any file has access to our any file that we created and in order to do that in the settings of the any file over here all we need to do is just put the exact same name in so FNAF custom night that's all we need to do save it and now watch there we go so Bonnie is equal to five and now all we need to do is wait why is why is Chica is equal to zero i put Chica to 2. No, I meant 3. And she's equal to 0. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, guys, I just figured out what the problem is. <laughs> it's not... It's not, um... The... It's not Clicktoon's fault at all. It's my fault for my spelling. I put cheek air. You know, E. Cheek air. Instead of Chica. <laughs> That was completely my fault because I accidentally spelled Chica wrong. Right, let me just edit that real quickly. I literally can't even believe I've done that. Um, you know what? I was tapping so quickly I didn't even realise. So, okay. There we go. So now, <laughs> let's just run this again. And let's uh, do Bonnie 5 and then Freddy 2, Chica 3 and then Foxy 8 again. So... Now, let's just go back to our any folder, and yeah, nothing's changed, of course, but Chica is is now correct. Chica's now... Why do I... You know what? Let's just get rid of that. Let's just get rid of Chica and have just Chica. So now, if we go back to our frame 2, it should be good, right? Yay! We've got Bonnie 5 and Chica 3, so now... What we can do is, every one second, let's, uh, subtract, um, one, yeah, one from the Bonnie counter, and, uh, one from the Chica counter, and if the Bonnie counter is, I don't know, lower than zero, and same goes for Ch I accidentally did bunny position, I mean the dude bunny counter. There we go. Uh, once the bunny position is lower than zero, then it will set the counter back to the value item 
Bonnie, and the cheeky one will set its value back to uh, Chica, and not Chica. <laughs> so, let's see what happens now. So, it's going down. There we go. It's back to three, and that's back to five. So now, once they reach zero, we are going to now do a set Bonnie position to, let's say, random six. And actually, do the exact same for the Chica position as well. So, random six. So, let's do. It. Let's see what happens. So, of course, the uh, that count uh, that one changes. The, yep, there we go. So, uh, let's let's say if I, for example, uh, let's run the application this time. Not run the frame but run the application so if I put Bonnie all the way on 10 and Chica all the way on 10 let's see how this goes so now they're both on 10 so it's going to take a while for uh, both counters to go down and for both of them to move <laughs> and they move straight near to my position <laughs> but as you can see this is the custom knight method. This is most probably the method that Scott Corson used in his Five Nights at Freddy's game. I don't know if this is the exact same method, but this is the one that works. So, now, if, say, for example, I have uh, Bonnie on three, Chica on eight, uh, or six, Bonnie is on three, and Chica is on six. So that is how you do a custom night type of animatronic movement. Now, of course, um, this is just like a... I mean, it technically is a random animatronic movement because, well, it's random and they're going in random places, but it's technically also kind of a linear type of movement because it's not, like, making sense how um, Bonnie can move straight from... Uh, 1B to 2B, and, wait, why are they, um, I was gonna say, well, like, why aren't they moving, like, at all, was, oh, right, it also includes zero. Oh wait, no, okay, never mind, I, I thought of something, but, uh, don't worry about it, but, yes, this is how you do animatronic movement in a custom night method way, so, I hope this all helped you out, and I'm most probably not going to do another Click Team FNAF tutorial. I don't know if I'm going to do another Click Team tutorial in the future, but I'm not going to do another FNAF one because I am not a fan of FNAF stuff. So I'm not going to do more of FNAF. And plus, I feel like I've already taught you enough of my FNAF stuff in my FNAF series. So. Yes, hope this all helped you out, and most probably I will do Unity tutorials in the future. So, thanks for watching, and see you then. Goodbye everyone.